Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on King Richard II and today we get to hear again from the Duchess of Gloucester and the Duchess of Gloucester as in the widow of Gloucester who was just recently killed under mysterious circumstances before the play starts but possibly was murdered by Mowbray at the direction of the king. So that whole thing is why Henry of Bolingbroke, who's also known as Henry of Hereford, is um, accusing Mowbray of being a traitor that in addition to he says that he stole some money and he's the root of all evil and Thomas Mowbray is saying that Henry Bolingbroke or Henry of Hereford is the traitor to the crown and they couldn't work out their differences so now they're gonna have to have like a, a trial by combat so this is a, a scene between John of Gaunt who is King Richard's uncle and the Duchess of Gloucester, they're sort of off to the side and he's like, well, I guess it's kind of in God's hands now who's going to triumph in this whole thing. And she's like, why aren't you more upset about this? Like, th this was your family. This was, and to have your brother Gloucester killed, like, that was part of you that died. So why are you not more angry? And he he's just very sort of middle of the road and he's like, it's it'll get sorted out in the trial. But yeah, because... It's, it's in God's hands now, so we have to put our faith in God that this will all work out. And the Duchess of Gloucester replies, Why then I will. Farewell, old Gaunt. Thou goest to Coventry, there to behold our cousin Hereford and fell Mowbray fight. Oh, sit my husband's wrongs on Hereford's spear, that it may enter butcher Mowbray's breast. Or if misfortune miss the first career, be Mowbray's sin so heavy in his bosom that they may break his foaming courser's back and throw the rider headlong in the lists, a caitiff recreant to my cousin Hereford. Farewell, old Gaunt, thy sometimes brother's wife, with her companion grief, must end her life. So yeah, she she's like, fine, all right, well, thoughts and prayers, that's going to make this happen, and please, please, please let Mowbray die, and in the meantime, I'm going to go kill myself because I'm grieving too much about my husband. And John of Gaunt is like, well, so long, I'm going to Coventry, and fare you well, I hope as good things happen to you as happened to me. And she has just a tad more to say before we're done with act one, scene two, and we will hear about that tomorrow. But, but also time out for a second. She ends this monologue by saying that she, because she's grieving so much, has to go end her life. And he's like, I'm off to Coventry. What? How is that an appropriate answer? Anyway, she has a few more words to say to him tomorrow and we will hear them then. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.